um, complete game. Loved our offense. Very explosive, attacking, very timely, very clutch. Defense, big plays. Tiara made a really great play early in the game. It set a good tone for us. And you know what? Kelly fought her rear end off for this. Um, that's a tough hitting team. That's like facing our own team. Um, they swing, and one thing they're so good at, they probably hit it 40 foul balls. Their bats lasted forever, which ran Kelly's total numbers up to over 100 um, going into the fifth inning. So I credit them for just being tough hitters, but I also credit Kelly for kind of trying to bear down and get through it. And holding them to three runs is is big time uh, victory for a pitcher. And questions? Patty, just starting off Alyssa's day, obviously he did not only the two home runs, but the double there in the first inning. She narrowly missed one, just the, the way that she was locked in at the plate. And she, she is so good this time of year. And um, at practice, she's swinging that way, very free, very loose, uh, very competitive, so good on defense as well. So um, she's doing it all right, leaving it on the field the way she should. And Alyssa, for you, did you feel that going in, that, that freedom and that, uh, that looseness that Patty just talked about? Definitely. Um, I think it's the last time we get to play at Love's Field together. So for me, I'm just enjoying the moments. Um, trying to take that into hopefully we can get there next week and just kind of taking day by day, pitch by pitch, and being present and everybody's at bats, um, but doing it together. Kenzie, you're getting, to, you're getting to catch Kelly. What are you telling her in that first inning? She worked her way out of trouble that first inning. What are you telling her at that inning? And then I also want to ask you about your swing in the, in the fourth inning. Absolutely. Um, one of my messages to Kelly is just that I'm with her the whole way. Um, I don't know if whether she misses her spot or not, she knows that I'm going to catch the ball. So yeah. um, just telling, let me, letting her know that message and um, feeding her confidence. Because I know sometimes you can see her pace kind of change a little bit, which is when I, that's when I call time and go out there and just make sure she kind of get back to, gets back to her fundamentals and kind of that steady pace that when she throws lights out. And what about your swing in the fourth? And I think you took a change for a strike and you said, okay, I think you looked at Patty and kind of said, okay, that's good. Uh, but the end, your swing, your, your home run swing. Uh, yeah, I knew that. Um, I really like the off speed for some reason. Um, I get that bear a lot pretty good on that pitch. But um, they threw me that for the strike, and I've been seeing the fastball pretty well. So I kind of was just looking for a plate over the middle and just thought to hit the crap out of it, honestly. All right, Chad. Patty, you mentioned Chiari's defensive play, but how big was Alyssa's double play as well? Just to Mm -hmm. Both of those to help settle Kelly. Absolutely. Absolutely. I just, <clears throat> our defense is so locked down, you know. Um, they had a chance to even try to score on Jada, and they held them up because mm -hmm. um, they've been watching our defense play. So, um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we really want to do anything we can to help our pitchers get off the field and get back in the swing. So, yeah, we work on it a lot, they'll tell you. We do, we practice it a lot. James Hill. Patty, your offense seems to be really in a good groove right now. You, even on your outs, you were hitting the ball so hard. Uh, you know, how, how well do you feel like you guys are doing offensively? Really, really good. Really good. The best I've seen them. And we got to see Sid come out of her shell tonight, which was really important. Alina in the lineup was really taking good swings. So top to bottom, it's it's hard to breathe when you're facing these guys when they're really feeling it. And tonight <coughs> was probably the first time in a long while that I felt top to bottom we were taking really great swings. And yeah, it looks really good. On the right to Josie Crittenden. Uh, Terry, you uh, Alyssa talk about just this being the last weekend obviously at Lovesville. Obviously, it's an important weekend with Super Regionals. But for you in that first inning, what did you see at the plate and how maybe important was it to, to set the tone for the game? Yeah, uh, just being aggressive, attacking early. Um, got some momentum there in the first inning on defense. So just trying to do whatever I can to hit the ball mm -hmm. hard. Um, but definitely set the tone, and um, it was just good for the rest of the game. And Patty, to that end, how how important or how big is that when you've got your your seniors <coughs> in this type of weekend making these these really big hits to to get a game like this? It's easy. I don't have to do one thing. They know exactly how to do this. They lead everybody along with them. And then when the big moments are there is when they play their best. They've always have. Go back to Ryan Chapman. Yeah, I know you've got 
other stuff you're worried about. But that home run did tie you with Lauren Chamberlain on the all-time list. Is that something you ever dreamed of, that <laughs> when you arrived at Oklahoma, you'd be leveling Lauren Chamberlain's record? Gosh, I never would have thought. Um, I honestly didn't really know um, that was the things. But, um, you know, records are meant to be broken, so it's definitely a huge honor. Um, just shows the power of sooner, Sooners wow. and the home run power, but it's just super cool. Congratulations. Nice, ERA. <laughs> <laughs> Back to James. Uh, Patty, when you know we've seen Kelly do so really good, and we've watched her pitch even against her. You know she's always been right on. Tonight was kind of a rare time that we've seen her struggle just to throw the strike she normally does. What were you thinking? What we what was Rocha thinking? Just trying to get her in the <coughs> game, to get her. The going. message is fight through it because you're going to have to learn how, we all have to learn how to do that when we get, if we get to the World Series, you've got to fight through really tough times. So at, at times I'm like, okay, what are we going to do? We, and she's like, keep her there, let her keep going, let her figure it out. And it may not look like she did, but she did, especially later in the game. So. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a victory. I just don't, nobody knows probably what I'm talking about, but for Kelly to stay through that and fight through that and through over 100 pitches, um, that's a victory for her. Kenzie, did you feel like she got better as the game went along? I mean, what were you saying out there? Absolutely. Um, her demeanor definitely got more and more dominant as the game went on, and that's something that I really feel just being there with her through that battery and kind of the telekinesis that we have so it's just really cool to see her kind of fight through those things especially like coach said for Kelly I'm just super proud of her especially through the through the whole season really you've seen Kelly kind of reflecting a little bit get better and better throughout the season so just really proud of her and her journey this year and excited to see where it goes the next couple of weeks. Ryan Aver. Yeah Patty ask you about Riley's ability to you know, do a lot of different things offensively that, that third inning bunt and the pressure that it put and it seemed like it was sort of a, I don't know, relief valve is the right word, but I know Kenzie was really having fun during that pitching change after that. It just seemed like you were really loose uh, <laughs> after that. How, how important was that? Um, important. Um, I, we have named, um, well, I have named, because I found a little plaque that says chaos coordinator. And so we have two, we have two chaos coordinators, and Boone is one of them. And when she comes up and lays down a bunt, if you can't get it uh, immediately, you're going to get beat. But that was, anytime you can beat out a bunt against a team, momentum immediately comes into your dugout. So that was big for us. Who's the other You know that answer. <laughs> she leads off. <laughs> <laughs> Second row, Clay Horning. Yeah, Patty, um, did you ever think uh, at any moment you might have to go get Kelly, and even if you didn't, was there a particular plan in place if you would have had to, or is that a decision on the fly, in the moment, whatever? Um, we were wanting to see what this looked like and go as far as we could with Kelly. We didn't want to show our hands too early uh, because, for many reasons, sure. and they did, so we got to see a lot of what we might see tomorrow. But um, it was really, no, it probably would have been more on the fly. I thought once we were close to that run rule that we were going to make the change. And Rose was like, nope, no, mm -mm. get her out there and let her finish this. So, um, no, that's like I said, we need to do that. We need to press these pitchers, put them in situations that they, um, when the fire is hot, that they can, you know, come rise out of it. Over here on the left, Holden. Uh, yeah, Patty, just how difficult is it going to be to close out this team tomorrow? Uh, difficult. Difficult. It, I don't expect that we're going to have a game like we did today uh, because they're too competitive. They're too well coached. They've been here before. They know what this feels like. Um, they're going to fight. They're going to fight. And they fought today. They, they had, I'm telling you, watching these guys swing, um, the amount of balls they foul off and turn into walks is unreal. It really is. So um, it's not going to be an easy journey. And the good news is we always talk about get that first game, put it in your pocket, and then just absolutely try to grab it tomorrow. 
knowing that you have that security blanket if you need it. But um, this one was really important. Okay, we'll have time for one more back row. Uh, Kenzie, so uh, on, on your home run, they, they challenged whether Cassidy left early, uh, and then after it was upheld, and she came off the field, you gave her a huge hug. Mm -hmm. How important is it to find those moments of joy as you guys go along in this process? Um, one thing about this team is that we love each other possibly more than we love the game. And I think that that's really special. Not that we don't love softball in itself, but this team has been through a lot. And we've grinded through a lot, whether that's on or off the field. We've been through a lot together. So being able to find joy in those moments is just super special. And I think that's what's setting us apart right now. That's what's making the difference. And, you know, one of the big messages that TRI and I have been sharing with the team at practice and stuff is every weekend could potentially be our last weekend together. So kind of just putting it into perspective that way is I could never play on the field with Cassidy again. So just being able to enjoy those moments with my sisters and we're kind of all just embracing each other right now and it's, you can see it in the way that we play. Right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.